The resynthesis module can do real magic and transform your samples into something completely new and original. In this second part of the resynthesis how-to videos, we first turn a crash cymbal into a unique sounding hi-hat. Then we mutate an electronic rim shot into a modern xylophone. Let's listen to this classic crash cymbal. You can play it at different pitches, but the length changes with the pitch, of course. The sound of a crash cymbal is very complex. Decomposing it into tonal and noise components does not make much difference. We can activate immediately the resynthesis module. The resynthesis module uses the tonal mode by default. Now the length does not change with the pitch anymore. High pitch notes sound much smoother if we activate the high definition mode. We can change the overall length with the speed parameter. This is amazing, but it affects also the attack of the crash symbol. Let's reset speed to 100% and use acceleration instead. This leaves the attack unaffected. To preserve the original character at different pitches, we set the formant key follow to 0%. With only a few tweaks, we already got multiple crash symbols from just a single sample. Now let's turn our crash symbol into a unique sounding hi-hat. First, we activate hold last spectrum and we drag the sample end marker towards the attack. The spectrum at the sample end marker plays for as long as the amp envelope lasts. To get a tight sounding hi-hat, we must adjust the amp envelope to shorter times. The attack still sounds very much like a crash symbol. Let's move the position marker and increase the low cut until we get the sound character we want. If we set the pitch key follow to 0% and adjust the decay key follow of the amp envelope, our hi-hat will change the length when playing different notes on the keyboard. Now you can play anything from a tight to open hi-hat. Let's see what we can do with this electronic rim shot. To decompose such a short sample, we first must lower the duration until we hear something in the tonal component. Then we increase the sensitivity. Let's press apply and analyze the pitch of the tonal layer. We transfer the analyzed pitch to the root key and move it to the C3 range. To avoid that the attack changes with the pitch, we set the pitch key follow of the noise layer to 0% and we deactivate the pitch bend. To be able to play this sound polyphonically, we must go to the main page and deactivate the mono mode. To add some dynamic, we go back to the overview page and adjust the velocity to level on the amp module of each layer. We're only a few tweaks away from our modern xylophone sound. Let's activate the resynthesis module of the tonal layer and decrease the speed. Now we increase the amp decay until we get the sound character of a xylophone. Let's adjust the amp envelope a bit more. To further fine tune the tonal layer, we increase the purity and decrease the inharmonicity a bit. Finally, add a reverb and we're done. This was the second part of the resynthesis how-to videos. In the third and last part, we will use the resynthesis module to modify a synth bass sample. Thanks for watching. Enjoy Backbone.